What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we're going to be trying out one of the new dynamic duos, and it's a Rajon Rondo and Paul Pierce dynamic duo. Rajon Rondo goes with 99 offensive and 99 defensive overall, Pierce stays the same. For Rondo, his stats don't improve by that much, contested shot for three goes up, his passing goes up I think by one in all those stats, his defense goes up, he still got, obviously it's not hasn't gone up that much, speed and acceleration go up as well, but for Paul Pierce, his mid-range shot goes up, to a 97 is off dribble. His free throw is still really good. He improves his defense and also his speed with ball. And his ball control goes up as well. He has a ball control of 92, meaning he can probably speed boost now. But the biggest reason I have him in is because of the 99 post fadeaway. He has 99 post fadeaway, and I'm playing him at the two. So, anyway, now let's get on to the game. Okay, he's got a really, oh my god, his team is nice. He's got 97. This team is unreal. This team is unbelievable. If we can pull off this win, it'll be unbelievable. Like, he's got his starting five. He's got the best team act. He's got that Vince team act dynamic duo. And, yeah, this team is Kareem and Dirk. Like, this team is absolutely sick. If we can pull this win off, that would be unbelievable. I think I'm going to eventually lose. After 11 straight games of winning, I think I'm finally going to lose. Is he off-balling me? Is he off-balling me? Paul Pierce wide open. Paul Pierce wide open. Paul Pierce hits the three point shot on him. You can't off ball me. Okay, so he's off balling. Let's see, can he defend inside if he's off balling? Okay. I forgot Kareem is like the goat in this game. I haven't played against Kareem yet. Like, I've played against Ray Allen a few times. He's nothing spectacular. Like, even like playing it with or against him, he's not like anything spectacular. Like, people jack up stupid shots of Ray Allen, including myself. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, Paul Pierce. Who oh, David the Busher with the block. Oh, I love David the Busher. Okay, he's playing me on ball. He's trying to play me on ball now. Oh, wrong pass. Wrong person. That's very contested. But the Busher is right there. Head it. There we go. Green release. We've got an 8-2 lead. Dave the Busher is just... Oh, man. He's my... Probably one of my in my top five favorite players on my team this year. Okay, it's a nice dribble move by Ray Allen. That is nice. Think you can stop me? You think you can stop me? Take him up. Spin in. Take him up. Oh, give it to Bob Pettit. Green release. There we go. Okay, Dirk is good, but I think I can. I gave him way too much space there. We got lucky. Can Rondo go in? Yes, Rondo can go in. 13 to 5. I'll give our bench, give our bench a bit of a run out early. Give our bench a bit of, bit of a run out early. Oh, it's bad defense. That's really bad defense by me. Get there, Rodman. Ah, it's unlucky, it's unlucky. To be fair, Mitch Richmond is probably one of the only historic diamonds that's worth going for. Okay. In the corner, Rodman. There we go. I think with lag, that's probably the best release I've ever shot with Roman. I shoot such a low percentage in general with him. But I just hit that one there. Oh no, we let Vince open. How did he get that with Dwight? Oh my god. Like there's times where like good players aren't going to win you a game. But there's times they will definitely bail you out. Play an ball. No way. 99 shot fadeaway. 99 post fadeaway. And I'm decent enough inside that I should be able to get that anytime I want. No! Okay. Paul George on the wing. Paul George puts it up. And Paul George hits the three point shot. There we go. Back to nine. Let me give it straight to him. But Robin's there with the block. Let's go, Robin. We've struggled big time on Kareem. Like Kareem is one of has to be one of the most difficult players to go by in this game. Like his defense just on another level. He's, he's just on another level, Kareem. I haven't played against him yet, but he's just oh, he's just unbelievable. Like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is on another level in 2K17 in this card. Oh, Sleepy Floyd, A terrible release, terrible release. Okay, I got time though. At 1.2 seconds. The worst thing I can realistically do now is throw it out of bounds. 
But look, quickly. Oh, it took a half a second too long. Ah, we're only up five at half time. Like, Kareem is just glitchy. Like, he's so good. Like, he's up there in probably top three or four cards in 2k. And he goes and gets that block. Fell block type thing there. There we go, Bob Pet. We gotta just run, ev hit everything from the mid range. That's our best chance. Win the game in the mid range. Okay, I pull him out of there by shooting jump shots with Casal. There we go. There we go. Maybe Hall of Fame Diamond does something. Maybe it does something. Oh, the bush here. I'm just standing there and look at him go getting a dunk. Our best chance again is to pull his Kareem out of the key. Like, if Kareem has to defend, has if he has to defend Marc Gasol, we can go in and get dunked with Ronda. Let's go to Busher. The Busher is locked down. The Busher is locked down. The Busher is a lockdown defender. You're not getting it that easily on him. Hey, Rondo. Finds Pierce. Coming true. Pierce. Oh, nearly the ammo one. Oh, don't step backwards. Do not step backwards. Okay, our only chance to pull Marcus all out of the key. Pick and roll is not going to redo that, though, is it? Put the busher in the corner. The busher in the corner. Like, how how can I hit the side of the board? Like, half the time, Hall of Fame Dimer doesn't seem to do anything. And the busher just has some has his game sometimes where he just can't make a jump shot. Still a beast of a defender. Though. Still a beast of a defender, and they bring it back to six. You gotta pull him from out of the key. Yes, Marcus off. Like, you might say it's cheese, but like he's off bottom of Kareem. There's nothing I can do about that. There is nothing I can do about that. Okay, now let's give him as little time as possible now. Okay, lob. I haven't lob cheesed once in this game. I'm throwing one lob. Maybe McAdoo can hit that one. Yes, he can. Okay, 11 seconds to go. Let's hope, let's try force him into a quick shot. Oh, McAdoo was nearly there, but he just wasn't quite. Six points down. Like, we need to score. Realistically, we need to score here because they start with the ball. Fell. No. No. Six-point game. End of the third. And they start with the ball in the fourth. Like, I can't actually shoot the drive in with Sleepy Floyd because even though he does have a high enough rating, he's just not tall enough. Okay, I need to pass it. Get out of the key. Get out of the key. Pull it from mid. Get the board, Robin. Oh, Sleepy Floyd. There we go. Why I don't shoot enough with Sleepy Floyd, I don't know. Big stop here. Big stop here. This is a crucial play. This is a crucial play. Yes! We get the steal. Who is he playing? Not playing defense on. And it's Rodman. And it's Dennis Rodman who hit the mid-range shot. Oh, I can give him that. I'll give him that sort of a pop. Strip, strip, strip. I'll give him that mid-range. I'll give him the mid-range shot over a dunk or a three any day. Like, the worst things to give up are dunks and threes. Sleepy, sleepy in the corner, sleepy in the corner, and Sleepy Floyd hits the three-point shot. We've got the nine-point lead. Sleepy Floyd has came up with some huge buckets in this quarter. Let's go stop here. We need a stop here. We need a stop here. Yes, Dave the Busher. No points, but he's come up huge. He's come up absolutely huge. Maybe he can get a point here. Maybe he can get a point here. He draws a fell. I probably should have got a basket, but I'll take the fell. Here's the first. This is huge. Making a nine point game, a minute and a half to go. And he hits the second. Oh, Dirk hits that. This is going to be scri scripting at its finest. Like, he's not going to miss a shot for the rest of this game. So, we need just to get some layups. Some layups in, and we're all good. Rondo. And, Ro like, Rondo missing the layup. Rondo missing the layup. To end the game. To ice at the busher. Oh, Marcus saw with the put back. He just 
he just Dirk fade away the three point shot. If that's possible, then this Dirk could be so OP. They can fail me. Get out of key. Five point game, like just run the clock down. Pettit, stay in the corner. Please, stay in the corner, Pettit. Take the foul, yes. 95 free throw for Rondo, I think. Or 91, and he misses, like. I love how all of a sudden after he released it, the shot meter just changed. Green release. Okay. That's deep. That's really deep. We're on him with the busher. Oh, and he hits that, like. Like, he can hit that shot. And Ray Allen for him as well can't hit a single thing. Oh, from the half court, the busher. Nope, the busher misses. We end up pulling off the win against a team way better than ours. So, box score. Paul Pierce with 12 points, only missing two shots from the field. We got Rondo, who went poor, was poor from the field, to be honest. But he did get five assists with that Hall of Fame dimer. And he also got a steal, and seven points isn't bad. Bob Pettit only missed one shot. Gasol had 10 points, and he did well at getting Kareem out of the key. McAdoo had a poor game because, to be honest, point center normally works, but not against Kareem. Kareem is, is probably faster, bigger, and stronger. Rodman was all right. Sleepy Floyd came up huge in the fourth quarter. The Busher, even though he missed four shots, got five big rebounds, got a big steal and a big block. Like, he really played well. And I don't know what happened with uh, Steven Jackson, and we didn't play any other three. But for him, Vince Carter with 13, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, why he, did, he only scored eight and didn't go into it more, I don't know. So anyway, that's the video. We won with the dynamic duo of Pierce and Rajon Rondo. If this video can hit 250 likes, I will do a duo with Marcus Gasol and where's he, Zach Randolph. It gives Zach Randolph 99 post hook and post fadeaway, it makes him a beast, and it's a really nice card. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.